today we're going to look at the 2019 Fortnite squad mode set that contains four figures here. I like to call this the 4444 set because you get four weapons, four figures, four harvesting tools, and four building material figure stands. So it's all cool to look at them in this nice shiny box, really shiny with my lights, but let's get this thing out of here, or let's get the stuff out of it. Well, here is the set all laid out out of the box. We get the building tips and tricks guide, the collector's guide. We get the four figures, Trog, Moisty Merman, Omen, and Ravage, along with four harvesting tools, the Disco Brawler, which has a cool disco ball on one end and a little ball that has multicolored dots on the other. This is a neat looking one. We get the bottom feeder, which is an anchor. If we turn it upside down, look at that thing. It's an anchor. And it's got some really cool chain detailing right here around the edges. And I can't tell if this is just a pipe or like a periscope or maybe both. But this is really, really pretty neat. So heavy, I drop it. We've got the Oracle Axe, which is also, which is actually, that, that end looks kind of creepy. Ah. But anyway, this looks kind of neat. I kind of wonder if it's translucent at all, like some of the other items we have. Let me pull out my phone real quick and get the flashlight turned on and see if it shines through it. So yeah, it looks like it might be translucent a little bit there on both sides because you can kind of see through it there. That's kind of cool. Let's get my phone turned off, set back off to the side. So anyway, the Oracle Axe. Then we've got the Iron Beak. That just looks kind of weird and creepy. Looks like a, a cage or something there. With some feathers or fluff. And then we've got the Pump Shotgun. we got a Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. We have a Tactical Shotgun. And we have a Heavy Shotgun. All cool weapons. I'm going to slide all this stuff off to the side because we're going to take a look now at the figures. Oh, and by the way, we get four metal building material figure stands and they've got the peg. So those are really cool. So we dumped Trog off. Let's take a look at Trog first. The snowman with some crazy looking eyes. But he's a, he's a neat looking figure, I guess. I don't know, he's, he's kind of cartoony and goofy compared to some of them, like I suppose Ravage. But anyway, uh, his, his head doesn't really allow for a lot of movement. It doesn't really rotate except for like that much. And the head doesn't go back and forth. His waist moves around, or his uh, torso moves around. And his waist, in theory, lets him rotate. Some of these are kind of tight. There we go. His shoulders rotate all the way around. He has a little hindrance in how far... Oh, nope. I'm mistaken. These uh, little edges and pieces that stick out actually slide in the arms, which are really cool. The elbows, they rotate all the way around, and they bend. They bend with the right amount of pressure. Let's try it that way. Oh, maybe I've got his uh, arms. Maybe the arms are wrong. Let's try that. There we go. Cool. And his wrists rotate, and they hinge back and forth a little bit. He's got some extra molding around the wrist, so they kind of don't move. He could sit if he wanted to. His legs move around. Mine are a little tight. His uh, thighs rotate. Both of them do. And he's got the double knee joint, like so. And his blue bare feet do rotate you gotta trust me they do rotate but it's a little difficult because he's got this like white fur bell bottom thing going on here so he can't really hinge at the feet that might be a hindrance right there you can... yeah they don't really hinge because you can't they can't i don't know they don't they bump right up against the the fur so kind of what you've got right there for his feet is what you got. But he's a neat figure. I like this figure. Not sure what I'll do with him exactly. Maybe he's a snow monster for GI for Cobra. 
I don't know. He's a venomized trooper of Dr. Mindbender who turned rogue. I don't know. Well, we'll set him off to the side. Now we're going to take a look at Moisty Merman. So he's kind of cool. For some reason, whenever I see this guy, he makes me think of the He-Man character. Except for not as goof. He's more goofy. This guy's more goofy. Anyway, he's got some really cool detailing. He's got some fins on his forearms. He's got some fins on his shins. Hey, hey fins on his shins. He's got something on his shoulders. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like sea life or what. But on the back, you can see this big zipper. So he's definitely in a costume. He's not him. This guy, I don't think is in a costume. I think that's him. He's got this hat that will come off. And it's a, a squishy, rubbery mask. And you get a repainted... Mmm, is that uh, Rex or Jonesy's head? I can't remember right off the top. But he's brown hair now. So that's a repaint of a head, which looks just fine. We'll put... The, uh, we'll keep it off. And he's got this big belt buckle right there. His head rotates all the way around, and he's got the hinge to look up... Trust me, he looks up and right. I'm not, he's a little tight. I'm not going to do that now. His shoulders rotate all the way around. And his shoulders can only go up that far because of these shoulder pad things. His elbows rotate all the way around and they bend in. Just like so. The wrists rotate all the way around. And the hinge goes back and forth just fine. He has a torso wiggle like so. So he can really wiggle. Now his waist rotation is hiding under the belt. And that's kind of tight too. There we go. Does rotate all the way around. His thighs rotate like that. And that's tight. And he's got the double knee joint. Cool. Now what about his ankles? Because he's got the shin guard things on here. Well, he can kind of bend his feet a little bit. Not much though. These are soft rubber ends, so. But the ankles rotate around. So there we go. He's a pretty good playable figure. I like him. This is a neat figure. And we'll sit him down over there next. All right, we got two left. We're halfway through this. Next, we've got Omen here, and he's really cool looking. He's got all blacks and purples on him, and he's got a neat little feature, and that is for his hood. If you notice, his hood is trying to fall off, but it can't because it's got a little hole, or he's got a little hole, and he, it's got a little peg right there that it attaches to him. Unlike the Technique figure, whose hood, at least mine, constantly is falling off. So we'll take the hood off for right now. But he's like some sort of like techno cyber ninja guy. I mean, this this is neat guy. This is a neat guy. I like this figure. So what does he do? Well, he's got shoulder pads that hinder his up arm movements, so you can't really go up too far. If you rotate his shoulders around, it's kind of tight, but that's as close as they get to his head. And he's got the standard uh, elbow movements and wrist movements on both sides, and the hinges they work just fine. His torso wiggles quite well, and his waist will turn. I think most of this tightness on these figures is the fact I've never twisted them before, so they'll probably loosen up with time. And his legs, they just are wobbly all over the place. Check those out. He can sit pretty good, and he's got thigh swivels. Yep, that's right. I said thigh swivels. He's got the double knee joints like so, and he could sit on a bench if he wanted to. He doesn't seem to have much hindrance down here around his ankles, like unlike the previous two. He could hint, well, maybe he does a little bit. There we go, he could uh, hinge his feet down a little bit, he can hinge them up, so yeah, he's got more articulation around the ankles than the other two, and his ankles, with a little bit of push, the uh, only hindrance would be that the side of these shin guards have some points to them. So that kind of stops the, the movement. 
But anyway, this is a cool looking figure. I like this figure. It's a pretty good one. I'm going to put his hood back on. Like so. It's pretty easy to peg on. I'm going to scoot this out of the way back there. We'll set him down. We'll set him down like that. Next, we've got Ravage, and she is really neat looking. Yes, I know, I've said she's they're all really neat looking. But anyway, she's really, really detailed neat. She's like a scarecrow type figure. If you look at the face and the stitching and these purple feathers that are popping out everywhere, this is the female counterpart to the Raven figure from the Turbo Builder Set 2018. And we'll go through... Uh, look at her pretty quick here. Yeah, she's got silver gauntlets and silver shin guards and boots and greaves all over and black shoulders and, yeah, purple stuff everywhere. She's got a little bit of hindrance, I would say. Let's rotate her head around. So her head's kind of got to rotate. It will rotate. Her, She's so far the loosest of them. It bends back and forth pretty good. Um, she can actually bend... Oh, that's going to come off. I'm not careful. She can bend her arms up about that far. And, oh, they're not going to come off. Rotating is not really a thing. She can rotate them up that far. So her big hindrance is the shoulders here. That's going to stop her arms rotating. She can't really rotate them. She can fully rotate the elbows and bend at the elbows. Her wrists rotate all the way around. And they also have the hinge there, which you probably can't see because my thumb was in the way. She's got a pretty good torso wiggle. And what about her waist rotation? Again, she is also tight like the others. But you can eventually get her rotated. Now, she's got this. This is kind of interesting. It only comes down on the side. I don't know if you want to call this a skirt or what. But whatever this is, it's soft rubber. It moves pretty easily. If she tries to sit down, she is like kind of floating because she doesn't really sit. So it might be hard to put her in certain types of vehicles. She does, she can move her legs around like so and all over the place. But this might be a bit of a hindrance, this split skirt. She has thigh rotational wiggles and her knees double jointed bend. She jumps like so. Yeah. And for her ankles, they do rotate. And they're probably the best of all of these four figures for being able to rotate around. And that's Raven. I'm sorry, not Raven, Ravage. See? She looks a lot like Raven. So anyway, there are the four figures. I don't know if I can get them to stand up again or not. Without the figure stands. But anyway, we'll just leave them at a kind of a sitting position. There. All right, there are these four. The 2019 Turbo... Not the Turbo Builder set, sorry. The 2019 Solo... Not Solo Mode. Oh my goodness. The 2019 Squad Mode set. From Jazzwares, thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow on the next box set video.